222 day, we will talk about XLM, a little of SHX, but we will mainly concentrate on Aquarius Aqua. And it is up about 10% in the last 24 hours, about 75% in one week, and 132% in one month. And what is all of that about? I have an old XX map to help explain it, but here is an introductory video that was just put out by Aquarius talking about how the Soroban smart contracts will not only help Aqua, but will help all of XLM. So as far as how Aquarius Aqua actually works, it runs on, I can't say STs, so I will call that the XLM network. And it is primarily there to provide market liquidity for the overall XLM ecosystem. So the Aquarius platform itself aims to add liquidity to the market and reward AMM providers. Its community sets rewards through on-chain voting. And that is done primarily with the Aqua token. And you can receive airdrops as well, but it is uh, primarily to vote for market pairs requiring liquidity to allocate rewards to incentivize AMM LPs and market makers on the SDEX. And it is a utility token to govern the Aquarius protocol with on-chain DAO voting, which I will show an example of that. So the whole point is that you have a bunch of LPs for tokens paired up with Aqua, and that powers the liquidity in the entire XLM ecosystem itself. So in a nutshell, Aqua's prime use case is to increase the liquidity of XLM and expand its DeFi capabilities. The Aqua token is there for token holders to vote and be used as a governance vehicle as well. MMs and AMM LPs are encouraged to participate. And it's not just a rewards token. It solves XLM's liquidity problem, which means Aqua might be more valuable than we think. And I wasn't aware of XLM having a liquidity problem until I began to look more into L2s on XLM. And I think it's important because a lot have said that SHX is only a rewards token. That's just not how it actually works. It in, is involved with payments and liquidity too. And I first got wind of this when I began to check more into L2s on XLM just over a month ago now, and I would say ever since then, and since SHX has performed how it has, my eyes have truly gotten opened. And I do have more on Aphrium coming up, and I will also talk more about XXA. The whole point about Aqua is that it is supercharging the XLM Jed McCaleb says that SHX is the cornerstone of XLM, but XLM also has a liquidity issue. If BlackRock wants to do DeFi on XLM but by way of SHX, then Aqua could be another cornerstone of XLM. And there are ties from BlackRock into XLM and SHX as I introduced in my recent video and I have a lot more content to expand on that point. So here's an example of how it is actually uh, providing liquidity into the XLM ecosystem now. 
So there is an L2 on XLM called Dogstar, and it's it sounds as if it's a meme token just because of the dog thing, but it actually has some utility. Um, I just haven't checked into that one as much at this point in time, but here we have a proposal on the Aquarius protocol where there was actually a vote on whether or not to provide liquidity for the expansion of the XSTAR project. Is Aqua a currency? Well, if you compare what it shows on SHX against Aqua, the big thing that is different is that on Aqua, you, you can see it go out to seven decimals in value, which means that it would be much easier to break up Aqua as one would do with a dividing up a dollar into coins or by dividing up Bitcoin into sats. In response to that Aquarius video, the, the Aqua network came out and put out an update as we move closer towards XLM contracts being put up for a final vote on Protocol 20 on February 20th of 2024. And it, it didn't have a ton in there that I haven't uh, explained. And it does have some music in the background, so I won't include it here. But it primarily talks about how Aqua will be able to use Horaban smart contracts to provide even more liquidity into XLM by way of AMMs. And of course, there is some more esoteric information here as well. We are moving into another age of uh, Aquarius. And of course, we are talking about Aqua. And there are some interesting connections into the Bearable Guy 123 content too. The hat on the uh, guy in there looks pretty close to the one in th these aqua trailers. And if we go a bit more into that, it almost seems as if the aqua token and theme what was hinted at for a long time now. And of course, we've got a, a an image out of the new video put out by uh, uh, Aquarius that is a captain in that hat and he is heading towards the lighthouse that is Horaban. So that will be extremely interesting to see if any of those kinds of ties uh, begin to become a bit more obvious now. So as far as the official site goes, it has a good amount of information on here and it is presented well. So here is our homepage, um, but if you begin to, to, to poke around on here, you can uh, check out the different categories. So this is the first thing to pop up if you click on voting up here at the top. And it says that you can use Aqua or Ice to vote for your favorite pairs on XLM and that these votes define the size of Aquarius liquidity rewards paid to AMM LPs. And ICE is the locked up and frozen form of Aqua, and it comes with some increased incentives. And here is the rewards tab. So. The total daily reward is 7 million aqua because the core use case of Aquarius is to increase liquidity on XLM. And they are putting out a lot of aqua rewards each day. Now, as far as bribes go, I thought that it, it, it's an interesting idea. So 
anyone can incentivize aqua holders to vote for specific markets by offering re rewards in any asset. So you can invest in attracting more liquidity into certain pairs. Here is where you, you can turn aqua into ice. So it gives those who freeze aqua increased voting power for liquidity and governance votes, increased yields when providing liquidity and AMM rewards and expanded freedom within the Aquarius ecosystem as a whole. And here is our go governance tab. Um, this is all of the votes that have been put up and are either in process or have been passed or failed. Here is an article that was put out about six months ago now that was uh, explaining how Aquarius and Soraban would work together to improve liquidity on XLM. So the whole goal was Orban powered AMMs. So the initial aim is to create a suite of Uniswap V2 AMM contracts running on Orban and a demonstration interface to show capabilities. All of that has been built out more and more now. And here is an article that is from about one month ago now, as protocol 20 is almost here. So it provides an updated explanation of how smart contracts can and will integrate with Aquarius AMMs and LPs to provide liquidity on XLM.